going to do my July favorites and today is July 19th. I can't believe summer is almost over. Actually my school doesn't start till like August 26th so it's not almost over but I've been taking 18 hours this summer which if you don't know that I can link a video that kind of explains a little bit. There's actually two videos that probably explain it a lot. Um, but yes, I'm taking 18 hours and I'm down to 12 right now because some of them have ended throughout the summer and two of them end next week but I basically only have a paper to write for one. Actually, I've already written it. What am I talking about? I've already written it. I'm just waiting for uh, my brother-in-law to edit it and then I need to do the other class that ends next week but we're going to ignore that for now. And then two classes in the following week so by August 2nd I'll be done with classes. I'm so excited. I don't know what we're going to do yet so um, yeah because my husband's internship ends first. So I don't know what we're doing between the 1st and the 26th. Like, we kind of need money, so I don't know. We'll find out. But today's going to be my July favorites. They are over here. I don't think you can see them. So in case I reach over here, that's why. First thing is the Confessions of a Concealaholic. This is what it looks like. Um, inside, I won't open this up. I think I'm going to do a video after this on this palette because this has become, like, my favorite palette. So... I'm going to talk to you about this, so I'm not going to spend too terribly long on it, but there will be a video coming after this video, so yes. And this is what it has in it. It has um, that gal, this is all by Benefit, and then they have erase paste, two Boing concealers in two different colors, so you kind of mix and match, um, an eye bright and a lemonade, which is for your eyelids if you have lots of discoloration, and then there's two brushes that you can use in pearl. I actually use those brushes and then I use a beauty blender to blend it out um, afterwards. But I really like this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a video on it. I'm wearing everything but the lemonade and the that gal actually today. I'm using a different primer which we will get to. I'm using a different primer which we will get to next. But And then I don't have a huge problem with discoloration on my eyelids. So I, I use lemonade sometimes but not a whole lot. I, may, I might have to try lemonade in other areas because they go ahead and show you where you should be putting everything. I don't know if you can really see, but they have like an informational packet. This comes in the box. So, yes. Next thing is the primer that I'm wearing, and that is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This, this, it's in my birthday haul, which my birthday was in April, but I just got this like a month ago. So you can link that birthday haul down below talk about this and I really like this. It's so smooth and velvety. I've had the um, Bare Mineral Minerals one and I kind of like that one a little bit better but only because it has some color to it. With the coloring it's like a tinted moisturizer like kind of makes your skin all look the same color I guess. It hides a little bit of the redness um, but this clearly this is clear so it does not do that but that's okay. It does help your makeup stay on for such a long time and I really like the texture of it. Oil free in case you are curious. My skin doesn't get, my nose gets really oily but the rest of my skin gets really dry so okay yes. The next thing is something I'm also going to do a video on that should be coming soon and it is the Alme Smart Shade Smart Balance Skin Balancing Makeup and I got mine to light to medium. Um, just because for the summertime I want to make sure that I'm matching and so I went for the light to medium instead of the light. It is a little bit dark. I'm very fair clearly and this just has some bronzer on my face so clearly I'm very dark or very very light. So this is a little bit dark for me um, but it matches very well. It is skin matching. It comes out white. You rub it in your hands and you just feel like it's going to be so dark but then when you start rubbing it in it matches your skin so well and I really like this stuff a lot so I decided to put in my favorites. The next thing is something I had last summer and I only use it when I'm using foundation. I used it today. Um, I use BB creams and tinted moisturizers a lot in the summertime so this doesn't get a whole lot of use but when I do wear foundation I tend to put this in it. Um, it helps my lighter foundations match my skin and it also gives my skin a little bronze and this is the Stila One Step Bronze. So if you just um, spread it out and then just rub. I rub it in with my foundation and it just gives my skin a nice little glow and illuminating without like a lot of bronze on my face. 
It gives my face a little bit more color, and especially with the foundations, that they're a little bit light, this darkens them up plenty, and it just works flawlessly, and I'm wearing it today, but I also have other stuff on, so, yes, A+. plus. The next thing is an eyeshadow, and this is the Stila Kitten. A lot of people have talked about this. It's just the perfect champagne color. Um, I used it in my tutorial with this look for my tutorial, which I can link down below. It won't be up yet, um, but maybe in the next few days it will be up. But it just looks like this, and you can see I've used it, but it's just so pretty. It's on my lids right now, but I'm not sure if you can tell because I did put some... Um, matte eyeshadows down before this and just kind of I just lightly sweep this on so it has a little bit of shimmer it's not just completely matte because I am a shimmer person and um but yeah I really like this the next thing is like kind of not very exciting but it is the best lip balm like the smoothest lip balm I've ever had in my life and it is the lip fusion just the clear um chapstick I guess it just looks like this it's so um it's just clear and it just it looks kind of like a lipstick and um, the packaging's gorgeous and I just I really really like this I think I got this in my birch box but I really really like it and it's very smooth on the the lips and very moisturizing so yeah the next thing is the nail polish and it's actually what's on my nails right now um it is Essie's watermelon just looks like this it's what's on my nails right now and I have a video I have a video with an outfit that I wore this with so I can link that down below um, so my husband and I went on a date so I wore this I painted my nails um, I haven't been painting my nails a lot this summer so this was definitely good that I was able to paint them and I just feel so much better with my nails painted I feel like they look so much better because I keep my nails pretty short so they kind of tend to look boyish um, but when you have them painted, they don't, you know, look so boyish anymore, so. The next thing is a fine, fine fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. Um, I've been using perfume pretty much every day, the Juicy, the Juicy by Juicy Couture perfume. Um, but I just had that in my last year, so I was trying to think of something that I haven't said and I use a lot. And I realize I use this a lot. It is Paris in Bloom by Bath and Body Works. It smells so good, just very florally, and it's in the bathroom at my husband's parents' house. And I have to spray this on a lot, like I go like at night, but I just, I just spray it on. I don't know why. Um, I like smelling good, so this is just like perfect, and it's just so florally, and I really like it. I might have to steal it, but I really like it. And I don't feel like anyone else uses it because I use this thing a lot, and it's just like there. And But that's all my favorites. Um, I still really like the cat. It's not that I don't like the cat. It's actually under my bed right now and has not seen this camera because last time it was just freaking out about the camera. Um, and if you don't know what kind I'm talking about, I can link my June favorites down below. It explains a little bit, but I don't, she doesn't need to be filmed again. She's not a huge fan, fan of cameras in general and that will just freak her out. And so I can insert a picture. Her name's Chloe. She's in this room 24 seven with me. And we even brought in a food bowl, which I think I might've mentioned in my June favorites. I can't remember we had brought it in in June so yeah well that's that is my July favorites I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed your month of July let me know what your favorite thing about July was um, or your favorite event that happened I really liked the date night my husband and I just went on this last week it was really nice um, we spent a lot of time together it's not like we don't spend time together but it's nice just to have the two of us like go on a specific date I guess like I don't know if that makes sense like spending a lot of time together but then it's nice to just get like dressed up and like go to a dinner and a movie um they weren't super expensive um because we went on that video the out video actually explains it so i can just link that down below anyways so that was probably my favorite event so let me know what your favorite event was down below that you did or happened in july and i will talk to you later bye